This is John Henry Weston for LifeSite News, bringing you breaking news out of Canada, where, to be honest, the rhetoric from Prime Minister Trudeau, the hateful rhetoric toward the truckers, painting them as if they're violent extremists, is now being played out by the chief of police in Ottawa. They're turning this into a January 6th. They're fomenting, just like they did in Washington, D.C., nonsense, where there was mostly a peaceful crowd with some agitators. They're making the agitators the whole story as if everybody is uh, being violent. Watch this. This is a clip, a new clip released today from the chief of police in Ottawa pretending that they're all violent, actually relating it to January 6th himself. None of the reporters even asked him the question. He has to say at this press conference, you know, one of the very first questions I was asked by a reporter. And so he brings it in. So this is a narrative being brought into the situation comparing the Canadian truckers demonstration that has brought massive hope to Canadians to January 6th. Take a look at this. The very first question asked of me by a member of the media, Chief, how will you stop what happened on January 6th in Washington, D.C. in 2020? And I got to tell you, that was stopped. Now we've got a lot of unacceptable and unlawful activities in addition to the death injury and full riots that we saw south of the border a year ago in almost the same circumstances. I take no solace in that success. I learn from that and I learn from the mistakes made. I gather more information, I gather more resources, I gather more allies and every day we wake up and try to do it better. We need to do it better and we will do it better. Thank you very much for your question. I think that's the two questions. And check this out. Here is the chief of police again telling us that he's going to go after those who are the demonstrators. Not only those who are demonstrating themselves, but also those who fund and enable the demonstrators. Check this out. We will hold to account not just the demonstrators, but those that fund and enable the demonstrators in any way. And we will have a hardened plan for the weekend's demonstrations, including concrete barriers, expanding that red zone, and locking down bridges, highways, and major through fares to reduce the ability of vehicles and trucks to come in, and when they come in, to target them, ticket them, and remove them as best we can. Now, remember that guaranteed in our Charter of Rights and Freedoms is the freedom to associate, the freedom to assemble. It's in section two of the charter. It is a right guaranteed that all officers of the law are supposed to swear onto, and yet they're coming to persecute those who exercise that freedom. Okay, so another officer comes on during the same press conference from the Ottawa police, and check this out. First, she gives more accurate numbers. Have a look. Last weekend, we had over 8,000 people and thousands of trucks attend demonstrations in the downtown core. Now, isn't that amazing? She gives those numbers when before that they were like, let the media go with, oh, just hundreds of trucks are here and hundreds of protesters. Now, now they're coming out to say 8,000 protesters and thousands of trucks, which is much more accurate. What we saw with the helicopter, there was thousands of trucks. But in terms of protesters, this is very interesting. We go to the March for Life in Ottawa every year before the pandemic, and there have been thousands, sometimes tens of thousands. At the max, I think once we had 25,000. We know what the crowds are like. There was tens of thousands of people there, but not only that, this is negative 30 degrees. So people are out there only maximum two hours. Any snapshot that you see of tens of thousands of people, you're only seeing a snapshot for a couple hours. That is a number that rotates and rotates and rotates. Therefore, the numbers are very large indeed. But have a listen to what else she says. We have since made significant progress in reducing this number through enforcement and patient negotiations during the past week. We know more demonstrators plan to come and want to be very clear that they should stay home. Do you notice they're focusing on reducing the numbers and we have to remember this is a lawful assembly. Why are they focusing on ending the demonstration and reducing the numbers? Why? When this is legal, it's lawful. It's what is allowed to happen in a free and democratic society, which we're supposed to be as Canada. And check this out. Even though it is a lawful demonstration, they're focusing, and the whole gist of the press conference is focusing and talking about unlawful demonstrations, unlawful things, even guns at one point. But why are they doing that? It's painting a negative picture. 
Based on our experience over the last week, we are implementing a range of tactical measures to keep Ottawa residents safe and prevent further unlawful activity. And finally, let's listen to this officer one more time about how hardcore they're going to get. Officers have received zero tolerance enforcement directives with full authority to pursue the strictest possible punishments for traffic violations, mischief, hate crimes, harassment, spitting, intimidation, and or menacing behavior. Now, where were these officers during the BLM riots? And where were they during all sorts of leftist demonstrations which we've had in the National Capital of Canada, which were a lot worse than spitting and uh, things of that nature? Miles, our video producer here in Canada, went with me to Ottawa and we spent the whole time walking around on the weekend when it was all so supposed to have happened. We walked around, we saw the happiest people in the world. We saw Canadians decked out with flags on their backs like we've never seen before. People waving the flags, happily dancing in the streets, playing hockey in the streets. Oh, how very Canadian. Truckers cleaning up after if there's any messes around, helping out the poor, helping out those who are underprivileged. Canadians coming out from all over the place to offer their help, to say thank you with tears in their eyes. This is a joyous time. It's a joyous celebration. Is there some noise? Yes, there's some noise. They're honking. Why? To let the government know this is totally unacceptable, but this is a legal, lawful demonstration. We're allowed that freedom in Canada under Section 2 of our Charter of Rights and Freedoms. You know, this whole mess is so much like our so-called fearless leader who hid himself under uh, false claims of having COVID while the truckers were there. And guess what? His little rant is so against what actually happened on the ground. I want to show you this amazing TikTok video uh, by the TikTok um, producer you'll see on screen. It just plays a little song and you can listen to Trudeau's insane rant up against the visuals of exactly what we saw on Parliament Hill. Enjoy this for LifeSite News. This is John Henry Weston. Over the past few days, Canadians were shocked and frankly disgusted by the behavior displayed by some people protesting in our nation's capital. Hate can never be the answer. I want to be very clear. We are not intimidated by those who hurl insults and abuse at small business workers and steal food from the homeless. We won't give in to those who fly racist flags. We won't cave to those who engage in vandalism or dishonor the memory of our veterans. Tous les Canadiens ont le droit d'exprimer leur opinion ou leur désaccord avec leur gouvernement, mais ils n'ont pas le droit de menacer ou de harceler leurs concitoyens ni de propager des messages de haine. There is no place in our country for threats violence, or hatred. So to those responsible for this behavior, it needs to stop. To anyone who joined the convoy but is rightly uncomfortable with the symbols of hatred and division on display, join with your fellow Canadians. Be courageous and speak out. Do not stand for or with intolerance and hate. And to Canadians at home, watching in disgust and disbelief at this behavior, wondering how this could have happened in our nation's capital after everything we've been through the behavior on display this weekend does not represent you. Hateful rhetoric, abuse towards their fellow citizens, there is always a right to protest peacefully that I and others will defend fully as part of this democracy. There is not a right to incite violence perform acts of violence, or to spew hatred. And I think anyone who is part of this group who is disgusted by what their folks protesting alongside are doing needs to step up and take responsibility, condemn these actions, and look for other ways to express their displeasure. Aux expressions de haine et d'intolérance qu'on a vues parmi ces manifestants, je veux remercier uh, la police d'Ottawa, la GRC, le service de protection uh, parlementaire uh, et tous uh, ceux qui ont travaillé pour s'assurer de minimiser l'harcèlement et l'intimidation des citoyens uh, qu'on a vu à Ottawa. How are you doing today? Doing great. How's it been down here? Uh, nothing but good. Keep 
people are super good. The truckers have been uh, having a good time. They've been getting their point across. How has it been? Buddy, it's been good, man. Peaceful. People are in a great mood. That's what I'm talking Always about. Always supportive of people exercising their democratic right to peacefully protest. Much Stay appreciated. Safe. Stay Thank safe you. Out there. Thank you.